Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to New Orleans, one of my favorite cities in the entire world. I can tell you, I love coming to New Orleans, but I'm not sure what, uh, what's better, the food, the music, or the excitement, the creative concerns. The technologies that we'll use or we'll need to do to, to solve this problem are yet to be invented. And who better to do that? Our young youth, our, our children in the schools today, taught by a whole bunch of educators. So how do you build an engineer? How do we build the best in class technical workforce of the 21st century? So for thousands of young people all across this city and beyond, that someone who said yes has been Calvin Mackey. He saw other young people with the ability for greatness, but lacked the access. In his mind, that was a problem that needed a solution. There's a quote that is attributed to Eleanor Roosevelt, but it applies, I think, perfectly to Calvin. And that quote is, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. A 2024 scholarship to a high school senior who is a STEM NOLA fellow. Humanoid into schools and demystify AI for kids who otherwise, and communities who otherwise don't even know it. We do that in sports. We make sure every black and brown boy touch a football before the age of four. We do that in basketball. Make sure every black and brown boy touches a basketball before the age of four. We built the infrastructure such that if a kid go to school and play sports, when she or she get out of school, they have access to that sport. Matter of fact, the World Series just ended, and I'm sorry, Tom, the Yankees didn't make it this year. But, <laughs> but the biggest con one of the biggest conversations that the lack of African American males in baseball. So Major League Baseball said, you know, what we need to do we need to start urban baseball. So they set aside money and they build an infrastructure to make sure that young black males and uh, Latino males can have access to baseball in their communities. And we act like we don't know what to do about STEM. We do the same thing that we're doing in sports. We gotta build an infrastructure in the community, in the schools, in the parks, such that if a kid get access to STEM in school, he or she gonna get access to it out. Matter of fact, if they don't get it in school, they still should get it somewhere. And that's what we've been trying to do. We can speak hope to every kid in America, regardless of their race, their sex, their gender, their socioeconomic background. And I want to say thank you to ASME for believing in our dream and our vision and agreeing to walk side by side with us and see how many kids and lives that we can change. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, ASME. ASME regularly recognizes the very best in our profession, but it's rare that the ASME Foundation can honor someone who is so closely aligned with our work, supporting the justice and value of a diverse next generation of STEM professionals. This work that changes lives, one, promising young person at a time. Heartfelt congratulations, Dr. Mackey, to you and the entire STEM team.